Another exciting original video brought to you by the richest person that lives in Norway is Odd Rayton, with a net worth of $6.1 billion US. Although salaries, of course, vary significantly from... First of all, Norway government have... I'm just really getting so emotional. It feels like this part of my of, of the world I'm from is like we are animals, like we're in a zoo. Like hey guys welcome back again to the channel i know you are new here because this is my first time ever reaction to a norway content and i'm so excited to be exploring this path with you guys so today we are basically going to be checking out how rich is norway i'm so curious to be doing this one with you guys and i'm going to be telling you the reason why i'm very curious but if you're new here on the channel i am Stella. please make sure you like subscribe to the channel also feel free to support the channel via the Bandit Coffee link below. That's one way you can support the channel and that's another way you can make priority requests here on the channel. And let's get right into today's reaction. You are watching Places. Every Tuesday, we bring you an insightful look into fascinating events from all yeah. around the world. How wow. rich is Norway? Welcome to Alux.com. Okay, okay, guys. I think this is going to be uh, amazing, right? First of all, I love your landscape. I love Highlands a lot. The place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, <laughs> and welcome back for another exciting original video brought to you by our team here at Alux.com. Norway is a fascinating country for many reasons. The it's is freezing so cold. Noise. They have some of the highest tax rates in the world, and the cost of living is also sky high. Yet Norway has been consistently recognized as one of the best places to live for many years. What's their okay. secret? Well, the we wealth will? of the nation plays no small part in the happiness of its people. And today we're going to explore just how rich Norway really is. But first, let's cover the basics. Background. The Kingdom of Norway is located in northwestern Europe and is bordered by Sweden, yeah, Finland, and Russia. Norway has 63,000 miles of coastline, which is the second most in the world behind Canada. Norway is a constitutional monarchy that functions as a highly developed democracy. Harald V of the House of Glücksburg has been king since 1991. The Kingdom of Norway was... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I, I noticed something from um, reacting to Sweden and then Norway because I know they are all in Europe and Nordic. So I, I think they have um, the president, but they also have this royal treat as well, like the king and, you know, likes of it. That's interesting. Formed in 872 and has existed continuously for over 1,145 years. Norway opted out of the European Union as a result of a referendum in November 1994. However, they still wow. take part in the EU's single market and they significantly contribute to the That's budget of the, the European um, Union. Norway yeah. is consistently among the top ranked happiest places to live in the world, along with Denmark and Finland. In 2017, yes, it claimed the very top spot on the list, which is published by the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network, based on surveys conducted in 132 countries around the world. Norway ranks particularly high in the categories of freedom, generosity, wow. honesty, health, caring, income, and good governance. They also wow. have a strong economy, which is what we're taking a closer look at next. Norway's economy. economy. Norway's economy is based on the Nordic model, which is also embraced by Finland, Sweden, and Denmark. This economic model puts an emphasis on social equality with a comprehensive welfare system, a high rate of unionization, and strong collective bargaining policies within workplaces, meaning that employees have a significant say in salaries, working conditions, and benefits. Norway stands out among the Nordic countries because the state has a stake in a large number of the country's biggest publicly listed companies, owning a total of 37% wow. of the Oslo stock market. The That's state nice. also owns and operates some of the largest non-listed companies, including the petroleum company Equinor and the hydropower company Statkraft. Norway is blessed with numerous... Yeah, this is some stuff I've seen so far. Um... I, I, I guess Norway economy is coming from their gas, their oil, and they are one of the largest exporters of electronics and, you know, I think motor parts as well. <sighs> wow. Natural resources, including oil and gas, fish, minerals, and forests. 
They're the second largest exporter of seafood behind China, and they're also one of the leading petroleum exporters worldwide. Their overall wow. economy has experienced modest positive growth from 2010 through 2019 and is expected to continue this trend in the years to come. The Nordic model gives plenty of opportunities for economic success to all of its citizens, but some definitely end up benefiting more than others. How? Individual Wealth Norway comes in at number 25 on Forbes' list of the countries with the most billionaires. Out of the 5.3 million people that live in the country, there are 15 billionaires. The richest person that lives in Norway is Odd Rayton, with a net worth of $6.1 billion. He's a self-made billionaire who owns one of the largest chains of grocery stores in Norway. As of 2019, there are approximately 46.8 million millionaires in the world. About 163,000 of these millionaires live in Norway. That's about I think they have it in them, is, is in their dream to be wealthy. They are born wealthy, to be very honest. I know, yeah, they are hardworking and everything, but 163 million, sorry, 163,000 billion naira, million, wow, in dollars. One in yeah. every 287 people. But beyond the millionaires and billionaires, Norway is the only major Western economy where younger generations are increasing their wealth, with millennials seeing a 13% increase in disposable income in 2018. In just about every other major Western economy, millennials are not doing as well financially as the generations that came before them. The oh, average wow. monthly salary is around $8,000 US, although salaries, of course, vary significantly from job to job, and a large percentage of salaries go to taxes, which brings us to our next topic. I honestly thought I've seen, I've seen it all, like average monthly salary, $8,000. I don't know what to say. I don't know if I should start comparing it from where I am from, or I should just, I should just, but that's to keep short. Like, what? Taxes and the welfare state. The term welfare state may create a negative perception of a lazy workforce and free handouts from the government, but this is not the case for Norway. Their welfare system maximizes labor force participation, supports gender equality, and promotes income redistribution. It also yeah, encourages no, innovation by providing a social safety net for those who start businesses. In 2018, single Norwegian citizens with no children paid a personal income tax rate of 38.52%, while married couples with two children paid a tax rate of 23%, the oh, wow, fifth highest tax rate for this category worldwide. There's also a 25% value added tax for most goods and services. These factors combined give Norway one of the highest cost of living rates worldwide. In fact, it's the fourth most expensive country to live in behind the Cayman Islands, Bermuda, and Switzerland. However, most Norwegians will tell you that these taxes feel more like an investment than a burden. In return for paying high taxes, Norwegians receive free health care, free education up to and including university tuition, subsidized childcare, extended parental leave paid at 80% of the normal salary, paid sick and personal leave, substantial unemployment insurance, and retirement benefits. But if Norway is paying out all of these benefits, how much money is left over? For that, let's get to the question of the hour. How rich is Norway? In order to understand just how wealthy Norway is, let's start with the gross national product. Norway's nominal GDP in 2018 was just over $434 billion. The figure that is better used to measure Norway's economy is the per capita GDP, which in 2018 was 81,695 US dollars. This is the fourth highest per capita GDP in the world behind Luxembourg, Switzerland, and Macau. What's more, Norway, Luxembourg, and Switzerland are the only three countries worldwide that have a per capita GDP above 70,000 US dollars that are not listed as island nations or microstates. However, a better indication of Norway's wealth is the money that they have on hand. Norway has the world's biggest sovereign wealth fund, the Government Pension Fund of Norway, totaling over $1 trillion. 
The money in this fund, which was established in 1990, comes from investments made with the country's oil revenues. The fund itself is 2.7 times bigger than the entire Norwegian economy and contains enough money to hand each citizen over 180,000 US dollars. The fund has increased due to strategic here yeah, actually called my curiosity to why I, I i checked out this video today i did a reaction to um i forgotten the video in particular but regarding sweden and um i was in that video it was stated that um sweden lost eighty five thousand, i think 85 billion naira deal with uh, norway with the volvo company they asked for um some part of some part of volvo and um, i think timber at the time and exchange with oil but um, you know sweden actually didn't agree to that deal. Um, over the year, the, the, the accumulated sum Sweden was meant to get from that deal was over $85 billion. That was, when I saw that video, I was like, no, I need to check how rich this country is. Like, and I'm doing this, um, <laughs> I'm getting so motivated and pumped up to make money. <laughs> Chicken investments in shares, property and bonds in 77 different countries. This investment fund actually has a stake in nearly 9,000 companies in these countries. Its biggest equity holdings companies. include Microsoft, Alphabet Inc., Nestle, Apple, Amazon, and Royal Dutch Shell, which certainly helps explain its massive success. A total of 37% of their investments are made in U.S. companies. What's more, wow. Norway refrains from investing in companies that produce landmines, tobacco, and nuclear weapons, and in 2019, it was announced they would no longer invest in oil and gas stocks. The fund is managed by Norges Bank Investment Management on behalf of the Ministry of Finance, but the fund is officially owned by the Norwegian people. It was put in place primarily to put Norway in a good financial position so it didn't rely on oil revenues that would eventually dry up. Norway mm. officially has a little over $157 billion in public debt, but they're in a mm. net asset position, meaning the total financial assets of the government exceed the total debt. Essentially, they borrow money at low rates and then reinvest. Conclusion Norway has secured its That's position as one of the richest countries beautiful. in the world thanks in part to its high tax rates, strong economic model, and bountiful natural resources. However, the main factor in its wealth accumulation has been the strategic investment of oil revenues, which is providing economic security for many years to come, even after all the oil is depleted. Norway is indeed one of the happiest places to live on Earth because the government invests in its people and ensures the taxes, high as they may be, benefit each citizen to the highest extent. Because of all of these factors, Norway will likely maintain its status as a wealthy nation for the foreseeable future. And Aluxers, if you're interested in learning some more about this fascinating country, wow. check out our video, The 15 Things You Didn't Know About Norway, by clicking in the top right corner. Question. Now, as we wrap this up, we're curious. Would you mind paying much higher taxes if you receive the same benefits as yes, the Norwegians? I will, for sure, Let I us will. know what you think in the comments. I will. And of course, for sticking with us until the I end, will. what could that Honor possibly mean? Day. Here's your bonus. The Norwegians are known to be an innovative people. The inventions that have come out of Norway include the cheese slicer, aerosol spray cans, paper clips, salmon sushi, and modern skiing. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. The, the point where she said um, the government invests in its people, I think if any, any country should have that mindset, do the same thing Norway is doing, that country is, is as well going to be as wealthy and um, rich as Norway. In my country here, yeah, we are rich with um, oil, we are rich with um, so many uh, mineral resources. But to map it all, we are among the world's poorest country. First of all, Norway government have... I'm literally getting so emotional. It feels like this part of my of, of the world I'm from is like we are animals, like we are in the zoo. Like we don't see what other people do for them, for their country. Like you put yourself first, and by that everything just sits, go in a um, perfect um, position and setting. Like we're literally rich with oil, we have oil, we have mineral resources, but we are among the world-leading poorest country. Keep borrowing money on and on and on and on. 
the people in the government keep filling their pockets on forgetting they are part of this nation their children still carry the name of this country I, i'm just getting so furious and so mad right now God. it's alarming it's literally alarming and um <sighs> Norway is a good country, they have each other's hearts and with that everything just going to fall in place as Elia said and I love how intelligent they are, how intentional they are, how innovative and very insightful and hopeful they are. Um, the whole um, high tax, you know, high tax payment and um, it's, it's not a problem to, you know, to um, invest into your country like the pain of tax VAT and everything but getting results from the tax you're paying not like you're paying tax and somebody is just um ransacking the money feeling his or her own pocket is being used for the purpose of the country and for a futuristic stuff for the country where your generation is going to you know keep enjoying from and keep being happy that tears and part of this nation this video is just so informative and um very insightful and i see why norway is rich like they are among the top leading and richest country in the world and um, by all of this infrastructure and all of this structure they've already created from themselves i don't think it will ever they can ever be among world poorest or will come down from the position they are holding right now in the world it, they, 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 they they will just keep going higher and higher and higher becoming richer and richer and wealthy are you guys to be very honest one of the greatest things a country or a greatest asset I feel a country can ever own is having a selfless leader. Leader that put the citizen first before himself is one of the greatest assets a country can ever own or a country can ever enjoy from a leader. And looking at most of this world and uh, richest country and looking at the history of their political history, you can see that, okay, yeah, the leader is selfless. Talking about um, Norway right now, Singapore and the likes of this country, you know, okay, yeah, this. Yeah, um, people that actually made way and um, you know create path for this country to be as worthy as they are. They are actually selfless people, putting the mind and the heart of each individual before themselves and family. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. And uh, let me know how your country is. Is your country rich? I know you. If you're watching me from Norway, there's no need answering this question. I have already seen it all. And um. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to let me know what you think about this video in the comment section as well. And um, feel free to also use the Buy Me Coffee link below. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.